All right, so the last element on this page that we haven't covered off yet is neutral admittance. Neutral admittance is a calculation that takes both the neutral current and the neutral voltage and divides one by the other. That gives you a polarized value based on conductance in the resistive plane and susceptance in the capacitive or reactive plane. So it has a slightly different configuration map to what the other elements do in that neutral admittance rather works in values for conductance and susceptance instead of current um, components. So what I might do, I've just opened that one up here. So we click YN and we can see that Yes, during a normal operation, you shouldn't have any leakage through a fault, or very little, and hence you stay within the non-operational region. So this is a inherently directional element. So anything on this side is going to be in the forward resistive uh, direction, or on this side, it's then negative conductance, so it's negative resistive direction. And likewise, then, susceptance is both in the capacitive and inductive directions in the um, in this plane along here. So if you wanted it to um, operate only on conductance, so you're looking at resistive components only, then you can do so by setting that to GN and changing the directional mode either from being bidirectional, where you don't mind whether it's in the forward or reverse direction, or only in the forward direction, so you have a non-operation region like this, or only in the reverse direction, like so. Um, accordingly, this then changes the way that your earth fault response is um, calculated so that you're only operating in those particular directions. Likewise, you can do the same thing for susceptance, so either only in the reverse direction or only in the forward direction or for both of them at the same time. So if you are going to use this protection functionality, then you can also stipulate what your minimum neutral voltage multiplier needs to be. So that's the amount of neutral voltage displacement that has to be present before the element uh, kicks in. And also the minim minimum earth fault current that you need to see. So that's neutral current there. You can set your tripping time. There's only one that you can use across all of the four sets of the operations. And you'll see there's no directional element tick box because the directionality is calculated based on the vector quantities, i.e. the forward conductance, reverse co conductance, forward susceptance, and reverse susceptance. So once you're satisfied that your settings are configured as to what you think they need to be, then you simply click OK. And I want to set it to do, you know, two, let's do three shots to lockout. So reclose, reclose, lockout. And my number of trips down below says three shots to lockout, which works out just fine. Once you're happy with the settings here in your configuration, make sure that you hit the Save button or do a close to save, and that will commit the settings to that configuration. <laughs>